All right, long story short, try to summarize this. Uh, what is the difference with when, when using Windows Update settings in Intune and the auto patch solution? Um, to make a long story short, uh, when you configure uh, Uh, Windows updates uh, manually. You have control of every aspect, every policy, every update ring that you set up, every group membership, etc. When you configure update rings for auto patch, you allow auto patch to do a lot of that configuration for you um, to to basically help you define the rings help you configure the policies and down the road also help leverage telemetry to make sense on, on when uh, not to patch uh, on your devices. But you have a little bit less control, but at the end of the other hand, you, you don't have to manage so much of the settings. So it's a, it's a managed service. Um, it does have its own license requirements in terms of Windows, but other than that, it's fairly straightforward to set up, and I shared that guide earlier from, from Jonathan on how to get it going. And the beautiful thing is you can test this out because you don't have to enroll all your devices to auto patch. You can still have a subset of your devices being part of it and see how it works compared to uh, you know, uh, doing your uh, update rings manually or uh, other options is to import them from uh, the community solutions that are around uh, updates. So this is obviously from the uh, Open Intune Baseline project, um, a project that has ton of pre-made configurations aside, uh, decide, uh, basically built to give you a jump start on uh, Intune setups. So if you're starting from scratch and you want something to begin with, uh, that particular project is is pretty cool. Uh, we have showcased it uh, a few times here uh, on the Academy, but it's a, a GitHub project um, where you can, uh, you know, download and import um, these different uh, management uh, policies or configuration profiles, everything from settings catalogs to, to others. Um, and you don't do it in the GUI, this community extension or uh, framework is intended to be done through the Intune Manager tool set. Um, so if I go here and um, we have shown this a few times, but uh, Intune Management 398 is the latest. So this is where you would go to your settings catalog, for example, and you, you would head and, and import, uh, specify a folder, uh, in this case, where I have a downloaded of that open into the baseline, and then you simply select all the configurations that you would like to have, and then you hit import, and then will show up in your tenant. Uh, love the naming standards, good starting uh, point for people that, that are new into Intune, but still want to have something to start with. So really, really good solution.